Hey everybody. I'm kind of in a chill mood right now because it's the day of my audition and the devil's at work as usual. I was trying to watch my Nixon movie at the last minute because as you all know I have two jobs, work 40 hours a week, and I spent the majority of this time reading this 461 page biography by Miss Julie Eisenhower Nixon. Thank you for her. <laughs> Not being bitter, but it's just a lengthy, overly detailed biography that I very much enjoy. So I tried to watch this movie, right? And it stopped. I downloaded it from iTunes and spent $10 on it, and it just stopped on me. And now I'm in iTunes. Yeah, and it's not showing up. So that's kind of pissing me a little bit. But whatever. And I'm, as you guys can probably see from the background, I have my own place now. I moved out in one day. Moved all of my little stuff into a furnished hotel. And my best friend is here. Hi, America. Why he's shirtless, I don't know. <laughs> but he is. And that's Daniel Bookman for you. In live person. Anyways, come, come, children. Today, I am Patricia Nixon. I am going to be doing a monologue from the movie Nixon, as you all saw on my YouTube. If you haven't seen it, you can shoot over there. And see that video that I also entered for the Tyler Perry competition, which is up today. And some tidbit of advice I'd like to give today, guys, is when it comes down to the last straw, like my grandmother always told me, you are your most important person. So if you let somebody take your dreams from you, it's your fault. I made a decision on last night to move out from the place I was staying with some people whom I very much loved. But we had irre irreconcilable differences. And Brandy has to take care of Brandy. And I don't do weed and I don't do boobs. Yeah. So, for that reason, um, okay, now I can turn it off. <laughs> um, and some other things, you know, I am where I am. So, uh, I'm going to go to this audition. And I'm going to act my butt off like I've never acted before. And no hard feelings, guys. But I got to move it on up to Eastside. And I finally got the keys to the beehive. <laughs> he said it's not the song. <laughs> I messed it up. But you know what I mean, man. When the mountain gets too high, you gotta tell some people to kick rocks, or you gotta kick rocks yourself. So, I'm going to this audition tonight. I know the devil is gonna try to keep me back on this week. That's what he does, so I don't really care. I've been prayerful. I've been in meditation. I know I deserve at least the opportunity to share my skill set as low or high as people might think they are with a reputable theater company, and I'm going to do it. So, I just want to tell you guys that I'm okay. And ask for you guys to continue to pray for me on this day. My audition is at 9 o'clock. It's now 4.52 p.m. Can't watch this movie. I know my lines. I've known my lines for a month and a half. I'm just going to go here and show up and show out and go home. And if they pick me, they pick me. If they don't, they don't. Because God has something else for me. And that's real. For real. So I love you guys. But. Bam! Ah! <laughs> See you later.